Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Colleagues, earlier this week, in celebration of Oregon's 150th birthday, I was able to participate in what we believe was the first naturalization ceremony to happen in the House chamber. It was inspiring to be able to join these 50 new citizens in celebrating the hard work and determination it took for them to reach this point. These 15 immigrants came from all across the world, from as far as the Philippines and as close as Mexico. They journeyed here in hopes of building their own American dream. As someone who has been on the other side of this ceremony, I know the hard work that each of these individuals went through to become citizens and the joy they felt the moment that they were bestowed with the rights and responsibilities of citizenship. I am proud to be a citizen in a country with such rich history of weaving the stories of immigrants into our national identity and a country where immigrants can make their stories heard in our government. This is what Oregon and America is all about. At the same time, we're hearing reports in Oregon and across the country of law-abiding immigrants being detained and removed from their families and of legal permanent residents who are afraid to leave the country to see loved ones or even attend funerals because they are afraid that they won't be able to return. My family and loved ones are among these who feel as though the ground has shifted be beneath them and who are left fearing for their future. As we hear those reports, I want you to know that these are the faces and families behind each of these stories. These are hardworking mothers and grandmothers, fathers and grandfathers, and the children who are most affected. The naturalization ceremony earlier this week made me want to remind everyone here of the enormous contributions made to our state by immigrants and refugees, documented and undocumented alike. There are more than 380,000 Oregon residents who were born abroad. Over 22,000 immigrants in Oregon are self-employed. Immigrant-owned businesses generated nearly 475 million in Oregon in 2014. Over 70,000 Oregonians are employed at firms owned by immigrants. Immigrants in Oregon earned $9.9 .9 billion and paid over 700 million in state and local taxes in 2014. Finally, if the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, also known as DACA, program is repealed at the federal level, Oregon stands to lose $591 million of our GDP every year. Immigrants and refugees are a vital part of our Oregonian community, our culture, and our economy. And I urge us all to stand with them. Today, I want to mention that today, many of our immigrants are, ex are expressing a day without Immigrants Day. And I, and I ask you all that we stand together. Your time is expired. Thank you. Thank you.